Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I'm just going to show you a couple of computer basics. Now what we've got is we go down to the start menu first and here, which is much like the Windows XP menu, you can get to documents, pictures and music. Okay, um, now this is a bit different in Windows Vista having that um, username there but um, this is your main files and stuff in here so what we're going to do is press on documents and this would be where most of your files go and get saved so if you're looking for something it's usually in there now all you have to do is go down to the start menu um, in Windows XP it would say start here okay but it doesn't say anything for Windows Vista so you press on it and then you go to it might say my documents this one just says documents okay now if you just want to see where your pictures were right most pictures get saved into your picture folder okay you can just click on that and go there um, radio there's also a link to control panel here now this has got all the settings in it now this is the same for um, Windows XP as well okay now I like it on classic view but sometimes it comes up like this I click on that to say classic view now you can scroll down and you can click on things in here and see um, properties of you know devices and stuff so what I'm going to do is just show you a couple in here if we go to system double click on it okay now this will tell you what you've got okay um, it says I've got four gigabyte of memory um, it tells you what processor I've got and tells you what work group I'm in it tells you the product key and everything right now if I press on this one advanced system settings this is actually what you might see if just in Windows XP okay you don't actually get the first box right so you'd see um, a general tab saying these things and then you'd have a computer name hardware and stuff like that now hardware is pretty handy this one because it's got device manager in there okay now when you're installing things like printers and you know um, putting a new mouse on or setting up a network or anything like that you can come here and see if you've got a problem now if I did have a problem there would be a yellow exclamation mark there um, it'd be next to it and um, you can press on this plus here and you can also um, see what's in there so let's just have a look at display adapters okay so that's my video card okay like a graphics card um, we'll have a look in CD-ROMs okay there's my CD-ROM right now also if you wanted to find out if there was a problem you could right click on that and say properties and check out the situation here it'll it'll say um, oh just here it'll say this device is working properly and sometimes it might say there's a problem in there right and also this on this driver tab here this is where you can install a driver if you have a disk to go with your device or something like that um, the best thing is to put the disk in and then press on update driver so the computer should find that driver on the disk all right I'm going to close that up close that up and close that up 